Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're taking a look at the Cold Steel Verdict. We're going to talk about the steel that they're using, the 4116 Stainless Steel. Now, I got this from Blade HQ. I will link everything down in the description. It's a pretty affordable cold steel. I think I bought it for like right around 50 bucks, something like that. It'll be linked down in the description. Um, but it's a very EDC friendly size cold steel you know that you don't see i mean they have smaller knives so don't, don't get me wrong but this is a fantastic size for edc you're gonna see it's about the size of the qsp penguin the regular version not the xl version <laughs> Um, and you know, the size of the Benchmade bug out, the Hogue Deca, it's the size of those knives. You can see I can get a full four finger grip very comfortably. It is nice and slim. This is FRN. Um, I can flex it a little bit, but as we know, the cold steel triad lock, which is what this is using is an incredibly strong locking system. Um, the strongest locking system when it comes to just you know pound for pound lock strength the the cold steel triad lock is the strongest and in this case we have a reversible deep carry clip that is in set but it does not have flat screws and then like i said we have the back lock or triad lock where you can comfortably push it and get your finger right here let it drop let it hit your finger and then close you can swing it uh, mine is pretty fresh, so it's not quite broken in yet. You have the thumb studs, which you can adjust um, which side you want bigger on. This is exactly how it came, but there's enough sticking out on this side for me to do a good reverse look fairly easily. Um, a robust blade. This is about 26 thousandths behind the edge. And... You know, it's a pretty robust blade, but you know, it's a work knife. It's a knife that's going to work good for regular everyday carry, but also, you know, as a little bit of a tougher tool for those that, that don't want to have to worry about breaking their tips or, you know, micro chipping or anything like that. This, this is going to have a very tough edge, which in return, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it a little bit slicier, you could always lower back your edge angle, increase the cutting performance, but you know, it's not going to sacrifice too much toughness from the edge because, you know, it's a little bit more robust. Nice stone washed finish that'll help hide the scratches. Now let's talk about the steel. 4116 st stainless steel. Now I've never used it before, so this is my first time. So I can only speak about what I've read. And basically what I'm reading is, you know, obviously it's a budget steel, uh, but it's very corrosion resistant. So it's got a good, it's good stainless. Um, and then it's really tough. So it's a tough steel good stainless and supposedly it's edge retention is a little bit better than 440 so that's pretty cool now the hrc on it is not very high though i think they i think it's like 56 or something 56 hrc so it is on the softer side of steels you know which is probably why it's so tough but somehow some way the edge retention is still pretty good with it so it's going to be a steel that's very easy to sharpen it should hold a good edge it should have fairly good edge stability not the best edge wear resistance you know especially when we're talking about all steels but it should be plenty good for those looking for a work knife and you know when it comes to a knife that you want to be easily sharpened maintained stropped and you know stuff like that it should fall into that category very nicely it should be a, a steel that drops back fairly easily should be right I, like i said i haven't tested it yet um the edge came pretty good um cold steel usually does come with a decent usually comes with a decent uh edge and this one you know it's pretty good it's nice and sharp it'll cut paper nice and cleanly it's got a good amount of bite to it um i have seen some cold stills that didn't come very good but this one this one came pretty not too bad it's got the texturing on the frn two different patterns as you can see but for the most part you know it's you know it's not slick it's not tacky, you know, it's right there in the middle. So it shouldn't be too slippery, even in wet conditions, it should be fairly good. But that's the point of this knife. It's a work knife, it's a tool. It's something for, 
you know, you to be tough on. And because of its locking mechanism and, you know, because of its locking mechanism, <laughs> it's something you can be tough on. I was going to say locking system and geometry and, you know, everything else, considering, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a tough knife, somewhat of a beater, something you don't really have to worry about. Something, you know, if you did drop it on a job site or, you know, fell off of a roof or something, you know, speaking about the knife, if the knife fell off the roof or something, it's not going to be something you're really going to cry about, but yet it's going to be a very, very useful, you know, in use. I like it. Um, like I said, it's nice and comfortable, four finger grip, very comfortable. Um, I do feel the clip slightly, but not in any way that it's annoying or that it's a hot spot. So I have no hot spots. I can do reverse grips, forward grips, pinch grips really good. Um, I can easily deploy it and close it one handed. The clip, I did slip it in and out of the pocket. It worked just fine. It's a solid knife. My one complaint would be the plunge grind and choil. I, um, now this one isn't as bad as I've seen from some cold steels. You, you're going to get about one sharpening out of this before it starts hitting the plunge grind. And that's if you're lucky. But because it's the type of knife it is, I don't really want to hold it you know, against it too bad because this is a work knife. So if you did create a smile on this thing, who cares? All right. Who cares if you hit the plunge grind a little bit and make it a little scratched up and ugly? Um, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but you know, that, that is one thing I, I would like to see improved is a better plunge grind and sharpening toil. Next thing is T6s. I don't like T6s. I'd rather see T8s, T10s, things like that. But, you know, not that big of a deal. And then the grind is pretty thick. It could be a little bit thinner. I don't know if they needed to go this thick, but I understand it though. I do understand it because, you know, I've worked construction my whole life and I understand needing a robust knife that's that's tough. Something that, that you, you don't have to worry about chipping the edge, you know, if you need to do something dumb with it. You know, you don't have to worry about breaking the tip off, you know, because you were using it a little bit harder than other knives you know so i get it and, and so i'm not going to hold the geometry against it at all it's a cold steel triad lock and it wouldn't make sense for it to have all the strength in the lock and you know zero strength in the blade even though i do think that sometimes we don't give steel enough credit and even with thin geometry it can still be plenty tough in this case though i think it's just fine so there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching Peace.